pre-saved electrostimulation programs may be accessed directly from the Myonics device, as well as on the app itself. From the app, you have the option to adjust all delivery settings. You may also create new programs and administer them, save them, and even upload them to the Myonics device for quick access later on. To run an electrostimulation session using the Myonics app, first, load the app and log in with your unique name and password. Enter electrostimulation by clicking the stimulation button in the main menu. This will lead to the electrostimulation main screen. In this screen, you can select and adjust the electrostimulation program. The Myonics device is capable of running two separate programs simultaneously for treating two patients. To switch into dual program mode, click the split screen button on the left. The screen will be split in two and each pair of channels, AB and CD, will have separate settings and values. Click this button again to go back to single program mode. An electrostimulation program includes all the waveform properties, delivery options, and timings of a program. To select an existing electrostimulation program, click the list icon, the first of the two icons on the bottom right of the screen. A pop-up will come up with a list of available programs. In dual mode, make sure you select a program for each pair of channels. When operating electrostimulation using the app, you can adjust some waveform properties. Click the dial icon on the bottom right of your screen. In this screen, you can set the frequency and pulse width values and adjust the session duration, timings, and phases. NMES programs include work and rest phases. Click on the values displayed to edit the phases length. Click anywhere on the screen to close the dialog box. You can select and edit the current's ramp up and ramp down times. You may also edit the total session duration or the number of cycle repetitions. NMES programs can be delivered in synchronous where all channels work and rest simultaneously or in alternating where odd channels A and C work while even channels B and D rest and vice versa. This is useful for antagonist muscle or reciprocal motion. After adjusting all settings, before starting a session, you will be prompted to adjust amplitude for each channel. For safety reasons, this is done on the Myonix device itself. After adjusting settings, you may click Apply to use the settings for this session, or Save As to save the program under a new name for future use. Before starting an electrostimulation session, the user must adjust the amplitude level. For safety reasons, this is done on the Myonix device itself. On the device, click on the letter representing the channel you wish to adjust. You can select one or more at the same time. Then, use the up or down arrows, or use a circular swipe motion, to increase or decrease the amplitude. Stimulation will be administered and felt by the patient as you adjust the amplitude, and the level will be displayed on the Myonix device and in the app. When done adjusting, Amplitudes will be saved as set values, and live values will go back to zero. Only when at least one participating channel amplitude has been set, the electrostimulation session may be started. After all settings are adjusted, click the Start button on the left of the screen to start a live session. You can follow the session on both the Myonix device and the app screen, and see the current phase and the time remaining, as well as each channel's live amplitude. You may also adjust the amplitude values while in session. This is done on the Myonix device by selecting the channel to adjust and then using the up or down arrows or a circular swipe motion to increase or decrease the amplitude. Clicking the pause icon on the left of the screen will pause the session, allowing you to resume when desired. You may also pause the session from the Myonix device by clicking the back button. To stop the session, click the stop button on the left of the screen. You may also stop the session on the Myonix device by clicking back twice or clicking the power button. Managing electrostimulation programs is done from the program menu. Click program in the home screen. From this screen, you have access to all the electrostimulation programs currently on the tablet. Default programs are the programs that came with the app. 
and cannot be modified or deleted. Custom programs are user-created programs. Click on the program to view its properties. To edit an existing program, tap the three dots icon on the right of the program to edit and select Edit. From this menu, you may also delete a program, as long as it's not one of the factory default programs. These cannot be deleted. To create a new program, click on the plus button on the bottom right of the screen. Electrostimulation settings is accessible by creating a new program or editing an existing program. In this screen, you can set the frequency and pulse width values and adjust the session duration, timing, and phases. Drag and drop the bars to adjust the frequency and pulse width of the wave. In NMES, the range available is between 5 and 80 Hz frequency and between 150 and 400 microseconds pulse width. NMES programs include work and rest phases. Click on the values displayed to edit the phase lengths. Click anywhere on the screen to close the dialog box. You can select and edit the current's ramp up and ramp down times. You may also edit the total session duration or the number of cycles repetition. NMES programs can be delivered in synchronous where all channels work together and rest simultaneously or in alternating where odd channels A and C work while even channels B and D rest and vice versa. This is useful for antagonist muscle or reciprocal motion. After all settings have been applied, you may save the session. Notice you cannot override default or built-in programs. Only save them under a new name by clicking Save As. Custom programs may be edited and overridden. From the Programs menu, click on the two Windows button in the bottom of the screen to display the program's Upload-Download screen. On this screen, you will see two programs lists. On the left are all the programs saved on the tablet. On the right, a list of all the programs saved on the Myonix device itself. From here, you can drag and drop to copy programs from one device to the other, as well as change the order of the programs on the Myonix device.